getting hurt? Nothing a brain transplant won't kill. Meant to say fire, when it's saying it backwards. Uh, Mr. Pransky, do you have any comment on the charges against you? Mr. Pransky has no comment at this time. The charges against him are spurious, totally without merit, and yet another example of government harassment. Excuse us, please. Mr. District Attorney, are you going to be able to make the charges against Joseph Pransky stick? It's peanut butter to the roof of your mouth. We have enough concrete evidence safely secured in the vault of the Federal Building to prove once and for all that Joseph Pransky is the most powerful leader of organized crime in this country. Sorry you had to spend so much time in there, Mr. Pransky, but uh, they gave me an awful difficult time with your bail. If I'm found guilty, you're found dead. I just don't understand it. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. I sit there inventing like I always do, and nothing seems to work. I mean, last week there was a pogo stick. It wouldn't pogue, and then... Oh, will you stop fretting? Everybody goes into a slump one time or another. But they don't strike out every time at bat. Well, at least you go down swinging, Simon. I just never thought it would happen. What? I've got inventor's block. <laughs> I've heard of writer's block, never inventor's block. I suppose it happens to creative people. But why me? Stress. That's it, pure and simple, stress. I thrive on stress, Tim. Simon, you're always telling other people that they ought to take off enough time to have fun, and all you ever do is work. But I like my work. Yeah, well, Alex is right. You need some R&R. &R. You need to have some fun and to loosen up. That explosion loosened me up just fine, Chili. Uh, well, here. What's this? Dear Mr. McKay, I'm <laughs> They want me to be a judge at an inventor's convention. <laughs> I'm the last one to be a judge at anything. Else. Wrong. A lovely weekend in Indian Springs with old friends and buddies. That's just what you need, Simon McKay. Alex, get him out of my hair, will you? I got a bunch of ladies coming in for tea on Sunday, and I don't want him blowing up the espresso machine. An entire convention of inventors. He's a bit eccentric, Mr. Pransky. He's been coming to me with offbeat inventions now for 15 years. Mr. Kilgore is Krellman's patent attorney. Most of the inventions don't work, but uh, he came to me with this one, and uh, watch for yourself. All this paper, plastic that must get disposed of. I don't have time to watch an idiot shovel garbage into a safe. Uh, imagine, sir, that the uh, garbage is the evidence against you. And the safe is the vault in the federal building. I'll tell you this one. There's the ultrasound, right? We triangulated, and then we started. Three, five, four, three, two, one, bing! Dan, come here, I want to show you this. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> Open up the safe. tricks. I operated the camera myself, sir. You see, it works on the principle of ultrasonic sound. That's the same principle that's used to dissolve kidney stones without surgery. What you're telling me is that if we aim this machine at the evidence, all the DA will find when he opens the vault is dust. Without evidence. The case is dismissed. <laughs> That's justice. <laughs> How do we get a hold of this? What do you call it? Ultrason. That's short for ultrasonic decomposition projector. Kramen has taken it to the inventor's convention tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you fill Lyle and uh, Winfield on the details. I want to see this thing work with my own eyes. I can think of a lot of applications for it. <laughs> Dust, huh? <laughs> Mr. 
Tom Christopher. Please meet the convention representative in the hotel lounge. Mr. Tom Christopher. Please meet the convention representative in the hotel lounge. Yep. That's it. I've had enough sun, Alex. I'm going in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There are two vacant lounge chairs right here. Look, I've told you I don't tan, I burn. Yeah, but my job is to protect you, Simon. Suntan lotion. 16. Do they do 128? Sit down. Relax. The scenery's beautiful here. Yeah, terrific. Simon! Simon McKay! Vincent! <laughs> Uh, Vincent Rachowski, meet Alex Jagger. Uh, Vincent is president of the association. Pleasure, Mr. Rachowski. Any friend of Simon's. And thank goodness you're a judge and not a competitor this year, so the rest of us stand a chance. There's no threat from me this year. Oh. Simon! Simon, my kleiner Freund! Max! <laughs> Alex Jagger, Max Kemp, he's the uh, top man in advanced kinetics. Institute of Manhattan. Oh, it has not been the same since you left us, Simon. There is no one there with any uh, creative flair. This is the only man in the world who could spell out Happy Birthday, Max, with an artificial bolt of lightning. <laughs> Teeny weeny! Mighty Mo! Catch a neutron by the toe. If it breaks up, let it go. Implode, outblow, isotope, use it, dope, who's it, dope, use it, dope. Oh, I'm sorry. Simon, I didn't expect to find you here. Oh, I thought you gave up on all this competing. No, it's even worse this year. I'm a judge. Oh, well, wait till you see the invention I brought this year. No campaigning, Krellman. This invention is going to make the name Krellman a household word. They're going to have a school named after me. Library. Or a flop house. They can store your inventions there. Gobble, gobble, Rashevsky. Gobble, gobble. You understand what I'm saying to you, Turkey? Boys, you're going to be kicked out of the association, Krellman. Not after I unveil what I brought today. <laughs> oh, Simon, picture this. Waste. Waste, hazardous and otherwise. Waste that we've all learned how to make, but don't know how to get rid of? Well, that nightmare is over. We face a new day, free from the misery of refuse. If we can get rid of the garbage we just heard, I'll buy one. See you later, Simon. Wiedersehen, Simon. Krellman. Don't listen to Rashovsky. I'm sure you've got a major breakthrough here. I'm sure I do, Simon. Believe me, I'm so proud. This is the first time I've invented something that's worthwhile. I'm proud of you, Mo. I'm happy for you. You've worked hard for this. You deserve it. Wait a minute. I want to introduce you to my friend. Alex Jagger, this is Mo Krellman. He's a genius ahead of our time. Hi. Hi. I like your style, Mo. Oh, thanks. It's Harry. Sorry, I thought you said it was Mo. Yeah, it was Mo, but I changed it. Why did you do that? Because Mo Krellman is a perennial loser. Harry's my father's name. I want to do it proud. Mr. Postagent, to the convention press office, please. Your friend here is a very special person. Mr. Postagent. I've always looked up to you, Teeny Weenie. No. Oh, Mo. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go get everything ready before the press tour gets in here. Listen, you've always been with me through all my flops. Well, this time, Simon, you're gonna be with me through my triumph. <laughs> you are an eagle among turkeys. <laughs> What's bigger than an eagle? You are a flamingo. You're a flamingo among turkeys. <laughs> an ostrich. A pterodactyl. You are a pterodactyl among turkeys. Don't you ever forget that, Simon. You have some very interesting people, Simon. <laughs> yeah, Alex, I'm lucky. <laughs> hey, why don't we take some sun? Now, that's the right attitude. I'm glad to see you're finally relaxed. Yeah, Tilly was right. You know, old friends, no pressure of work, no self-doubt. There you go. Mm. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Are you having any trouble there? Oh, thank you. Yeah? It won't stay inflated. See, I, I can't swim. Oh, well, let me have a look. It could be the valve. Waiter. I think you've got some sand in here. Oh. Representative for the inventors group. Please see the manager at the courtesy desk. Hi. Hi. Are you uh, an inventor, too? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I am inventive. Yeah, that's fixed it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Okay, get ready. Look at Grandpa,
was only trying to help. This is Inventor's block. Missing! Somebody stole my ultrasound! Simon! Simon, it was there. It was right there behind the curtain. It was ready to be unveiled. And all of a sudden, I looked. It's not there. It's gone. Mo, Somebody Mo, stole it. calm down. Oh, don't you understand? Somebody stole my life's work. That ultrasound didn't work, did it, Croman? You set this whole thing up just to cover up for another failure. It worked. I have proof. I made a videotape. All right, show us the tape. I would, but it was stolen. Oh, Croman, the only thing inventive about you is your excuses. Somebody here stole my ultrasound, and I'm gonna find out who. You're a liar, Krellman, and that's the thing that's gonna get you thrown out of the association. This is it for you. Rashevsky. Yes? No! No! No, come here! Now, uh, look, Simon, do you believe him? I believe in him, and he believes in his machine, but... Security? Oh, good. It's about time. You take the ones on the left, I'll take all of these. Uh, Arthur, right. you better come inside. No, no, I gotta be out here. Look it, that's a good idea. You go inside. All right, everybody out. Come on, come on, sir, come on. Sir, please, put it at a time. Come inside. Come inside. Excuse me. Would you come inside? Officer, sir. officer, it's all right. It's a friend of mine is a bit upset. He's had something stolen. Mo, what do you think? I'm a federal officer. I'll need Simon, to know who had access to that wall. Do you know what could have happened to my ultrasound? Of course I don't. Come on, let's go see if we can figure this out. Just a few more seconds. Ah, I saw exactly how Croman did it. What's the range on this thing? He said it was about 500 feet. 500 feet. I've already arranged to use an office across the street from the federal building. It's well within that range. All right, now I've got it triangulated on the papers in the safe. We're ready. Just be careful. This place is a drop point. I got valuable things in here. I don't want holes blown in it. Right. Now it takes about 10 seconds. Three, two, one. That should do it. Maybe I just did the wrong thing. Let me try it again. I don't have time for this. Oh, but it works, I swear. I saw Croman do it. Then get him up here. I want this thing working before I get back. You got four hours. Moss, you saw the tape. You saw it worked on the tape, didn't you? You saw the tape. It worked on the tape. You know what this reminds me of? The first time we met at that convention in Chicago, remember, Mo? Yeah. <laughs> Simon? Yeah? Harry, okay? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You know, we said we were going to do something really important for mankind, something historic. So we came up with edible silverware. <laughs> <laughs> Two geniuses at work. Yeah, but you've gone a long way since then. I've gone a long way around to nowhere. Huh. You just took your time, that's all. I mean, this ultrasound sounds like a brilliant invention. Nah, it's just one flash in the pan, but your brain is always sizzled, Simon. I mean, an idea here, a concept there, uh, suddenly, wait, wait, here comes a thought, uh, a memory, an idea that ties them all together, and zip, zap, bip, bap, bam, bingo! Yeah. Innovation. Yeah, when I'm lucky. No, your creativity never goes dry. Mine hardly ever gets moist. I'm as dry as a bone now. Not you, no. I haven't had a bingo in weeks. Bummer. It's a pity you can't get in there with a wrench or something and fix it up, you know? I'll get the other side here. Wait a minute. <laughs> <coughs> he, he, he ran out of Q-tips. <laughs> now, that's right. An ultrasonic decomposition projector. Hey, don't even ask. 
Look, uh, after you've run the guest list through the computer, give me a call, will you? I know, but if anything does shake loose, let me know, OK? Bye. Bye-bye. How's it going? Curiouser and curiouser. Like Alice in Wonderland. Alex. Alex in Wonderland. God, I'm depressed. Simon. What is it, man? Cosmo. What? Cosmo Krellman, cosmic inventor. I'm gonna put myself into a comic book. <laughs> that way, at least, maybe I'll win sometimes in the end. <laughs> yeah, but then you can only say those little words that fit in the bubbles, you know? <laughs> ah, you know, whoever invented friendship used you as the prototype. <laughs> Listen, we are. why don't you go in there and relax, take a hot bath, forget all about it. I'll check on Alex, see how he's getting on finding the real invention that really works in the real world. Mm -hmm. Simon, you don't have to do that. I mean, forget about it. I mean, it's too much trouble. It's no trouble. Look, I'm the judge. It's my duty to see every invention. I'll see you for dinner at six, all right? Okay. Hey. Hey, what the heck is going on here? Come on! sure what he says was stolen was stolen. Through a thorough investigation, that's how. Look, if you can get me those pickup and delivery sheets, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, sure, if you really need them. Since Crawlin arrived last night. Alright. I'll check him out. What's a CIC man doing here anyway? Personal security. My uh, friend has a tendency to get into tight spots. Figured he could come here, relax, stay out of trouble. No.
doesn't matter what we're going to do with it. What matters is if we're not able to. If it doesn't work, those two men are going to take both of you for a ride in the desert. No, look, I don't know what this guy Kilgore told you, but this thing doesn't work. Never did. It's a joke, a fake, a gag. You're lying. I saw it work with my own eyes. Who are you going to trust? Me or the guy who sold me out? Him. He's a lawyer. You don't trust lawyers. I'm a lawyer. Joe Pransky's lawyer. Proves my point. And mine. You see, Mr. Pransky will be here in uh, 30 minutes. Now, either the papers in that safe disintegrate right before his eyes, or the both of you will. And that's an, an idle threat. <laughs> Look, I can't get it to work. I mean, I, I want to, believe me. I just, I, I, I tried it. I, <clears throat> I don't have my schematics, my tools. Cut the crud, Harry. We both know that the schematics are in your head, and I got all the tools you'll need right here. Look, Harry, my butt is on the line in this thing, too. You gotta get this thing to work. And if you don't, then you better get him to make it work. You leave him out of this. That's Simon McKay. He holds more patents in this country than any other inventor. I don't care which one of you gets to work. You got 28 minutes to do it. remember how. Okay, McKay, you do something. You got me at a bad time. I got inventor's block. Don't be a wise guy. It's true. He has. I have. Then you better get over it. Fast. Well, I'm trying, but I have to relax. How can I relax when there's guns pointing at me? That's right. How do you expect us to concentrate when he's... I mean, how do you think that I can think when he can't... I mean, look at this. I can't even talk. How do you expect me to fix this thing? Okay. I'll leave you alone. But you better fix it. Fast! We need a little more light. He'll be the first to go. Oh, I feel terrible, Simon. I'm sorry I got you involved in this. Oh, don't worry about it. We've just got to think of a way out of here. It's not your problem, Mo. It's not Mo. What? It's Artie. Artie? Yeah, for artificial, phony, fraud. That's who I am. The original four-letter word. Fake. You mean this ultrasound really is a fake? Mashovsky was right. It's garbage. But Mo, they're gonna kill us because they think it works. I made a videotape. I pulled some cheap magic trick to convince Kilgore, that's all. Why? Because for two years, I invested every waking hour, every dollar I had into making this thing work. It made sense, the design, the engineering, everything. I mean, finally, Mo Croman was gonna invent something that mankind would not laugh at. <laughs> Forget mankind that my mother wouldn't laugh at. And then, just like every other brainstorm I ever had, once the flash of lightning was gone, there it was, a big puddle. But this is a good design. It's well thought out, well conceived. Yeah, but the bottom line is it doesn't work. The world is filled with wonderfully designed washouts. I'll tell you the truth. When I found out it was stolen, I was relieved. <laughs> I thought, why didn't I think of that? And now look at us. Simon, I gotta get you out of here. Come on. Mo, here we go. What are you doing? Come on, Mo. Simon, out you go. You can Mo. squeeze through. No, this Come on. It won't work. Mo. It will. Now listen, pain is fleeting. Mo. No, it's all I'm right. A little more. Stuck. No, you're not. No, Simon here. It won't work. No. What have you been eating? Candy? Look, pull me out, Mo. Okay, come on. Oh. Simon? What? You're right. You're stuck. Mo, 
get in there and see what they're doing. Oh, Here they come. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, almost got it. <laughs> I think you'll find the trouble is with this circuit board. I think the medial lateral circuit crosses with the positron tracer unit. Yeah, you'll find the feedback loop uh, interferes with the rheostat loop. Um, oh, do you mind if you want this done quickly? We're running out of time. Who was that? What's going on? What are you doing? I haven't got time to explain now. Alex, go under that tree and get me my bag. I need it now. Bransky will be here any minute. What, do you really get rid of us? Without batting an eye. Well, they said they found the problem. It, uh, it was a circuit board or something. Well, they better fix it fast. That's it, Simon. Go. Yeah. Spread it on the bars and round my body where I'm stuck. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Okay. Okay, now you pull Alex and you push both. Oh. Look at this! Oh, you made it! Son. It worked. Now we're coming right back and getting you. Oh, there's not enough goop in the universe to get me out. No, I don't think goop's a solution. We're gonna need a tow truck. Where are you gonna get a tow truck? There's one in my bag. Yeah. Hmm? Simon. Yeah? With all due respect, even a full-size tow truck would have trouble with those bars. Yes, but Alex, a real tow truck doesn't have these. on your death warrant. to bring in that uh, garbage she calls uh, evidence. He comes back with dust on his hands. Come on, Pransky. You're grasping at straws. Face it. The game's over and you lost. Why make things worse? I make people grasp at straws, you. Get rid of this guy. If you get rid of him, I don't fix the machine. I don't think we need to grasp at straws here. Well, are you saying that you know how to make this thing work? I could do it. The question is, will I? Oh, no. There's no question about that. Well, I'll need some time to think about it. Sure, I'll give you time. You got two seconds. I've thought about it. I can fix it. I can't do it here. We've got to go back to my workshop where I've got my tools and equipment. Oh, just one thing, Mr. Pransky. What? I've got a housekeeper back there. She's got a few friends around. It's just some old ladies drinking tea together. 
Could I make a quick call and clear the place? All right, two pair of beds. <clears throat> I got two pairs showing. A Tilly. Oh, Simon. Uh, uh, Simon? Oh, yes. The girls and I are looking at gloves. Pairs of gloves. I, I, I'm looking at a pair of doe skins. Sorry to disturb you, but um, I'm coming around with a few friends tonight. I need the place empty, so could you tell your lady friends to go? Oh, and, and have the night off. Have the night off? Simon, what's wrong? Uh, have the night off, and please could you tidy up the workshop before you go? Chips in, Adam. What? Chips in, you're the big winner. Well, that's the way it turns out, isn't it? Yeah, well, it is. This way. This way. This way. Um, I need this in here. Wait a minute. Cody, right. It's clean. It's clean. Just put it in the middle. Then. Excuse me. Excuse me. And, uh, I'll need this flying saucer over there. And, uh, the remote control over here. And this display panel over there. Wait a minute. Clean it up, stuff for Let's just spare parts, the mechanisms, to, to make that work. I'll give you one hour. Just take a few minutes, won't it, Harry? <laughs> Bring it in here. Leave it open. <sighs> OK, Harry. Let's get to work. Huh? Right. <laughs> Let's get to work. Okay, what's the plan of attack? Well, we're going to make the ultrasound work again, aren't we? You go in there, make sure the papers in the safe are ready for a convincing demonstration. You sure this is going to work? Harry, of course it'll work. It's your invention, isn't it? Cosmo. <laughs> Now, you go in there and make your magic work, and uh, I'll be in here and make mine work. OK, uh, the papers you want pulverized in there? Uh-huh. Good, good. OK, now we have to line this up with the sonic firing unit, so, uh, come on, let's move it. <laughs> Right over to here, gentlemen, please. Good, 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 good. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, a little to the left, just a little to the left, please. Thank you. Good. Perfect. No, uh, a little to the right. Gentlemen, looks like that. Just a little bit more. That's it. That's it. Don't, 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 don't. And now, gentlemen, we're about to prove that. Harry Krellman, or Cosmo to his friends, is the creative genius of our time. Oh, you did all the work, Simon. <laughs> I may be a good mechanic, but you designed the unit. Oh, but, but the design is only as good as the person who puts it together. Never in a million years can I In a billion come up with years. All right, right, let's quit talking about it. Let's see it work. Right away. <laughs>
That should be enough. needed a few minor adjustments. Now, Mr. Pransky, tell your men to drop their weapons. You're as biodegradable as any garbage I've ever seen. Tell them to drop them or they'll be sweeping you up in a dustpan. Uh, I think it takes 10 seconds to work. You'll be dead first. Inside a safe, it takes 10 seconds. Where you are, I'd say you're very unsafe. <laughs> we've ever been to together, this year's was without a doubt the most exciting. Why? Uh, you know, you're a very attractive woman. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back. I couldn't believe it when that little fireman started chopping the ropes. I thought I was going to blow it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how I feel at this moment? What? I don't know. I never felt like this before. <laughs> Tilly! Oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's been a long time since somebody was able to do that. Simon. Mo. I mean, Harry. No, Mo. thought your name was Cosmo. It is. Cosmo, the cosmic inventor. And his trusty companion, Wizard. Ta-da! Oh, only this isn't the comic book, is it? No, Simon, this is real. And the ultrasound is real. It works. It actually works. How did you do that, Simon? It wasn't me. It was you. Me? Oh, come on. All I did was I set up the safe. You fixed it. <laughs> oh, gee, you are a genius. You are a mental giant. Mo, Mo, I didn't fix anything. I just... Pulled off a pretty good bluff, that's all. You were bluffing, Pransky. But look, this is dust. I know. You were brilliant. The way you did that switch, you got to teach me that one. Which one? What? Well, the way you changed the papers for the dust, they didn't notice a thing. Just like you did it on the videotape. I never saw this dust before in my life. <laughs> oh, look, I said Cosmo, I said work your magic. You did it. It was perfect. Right. I, I didn't know what in the world you were talking about. That Simon. These are the papers. <laughs> well, I guess your inventor's block is definitely over, Simon. Well, see, just what I told you. Peace and quiet. Turns a trick every time. Uh -huh. 